folks, I'm back. It's me, Mabu Chowdhury, aka the People's Coach, aka your host and speaker for today. Welcome back to more of my motivational, inspirational, and influential videos. People, welcome back. Now, in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about making decisions for yourself. Let me further clarify, let me further explain. Give me a moment or two, and I shall do just that. Check this out, folks. Are you sick and tired of being told what to do? Well, I'll tell you why that is. So many people out there will tell you what to do because of the, fa of the fact that you are unable to make decisions for yourself. If you're unable to do that, then people will always tell you what to do. You will do things because this person said so. You will not lead a good quality life because someone has said to do this, 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 that, that way, their way and not your way. I'm not trying to tell you to be rebellious, but what I'm trying to say is you, that each and every one of us out there need to show that we can think for ourselves. We can do things for ourselves. Because when we are unable to demonstrate and display this, then people will take advantage of you. When you're able to think for yourself, for instance, someone has just said something, you, you, you don't accept what it is, you weigh things up, you try, and, you, you try and analyze and understand what's been said, and then you come to your own decision. Then that's all about thinking for yourself. You've not accepted it blindly. Some things in life that you can accept blindly, some things in life that you can accept it because this person said so, because they are trustworthy, they're reliable. But at the end of the day, that's down to you to, de to decide and decipher for yourself. You need to display that quality about yourself, the way you carry yourself, the way you conduct yourself with others. Because each and every one of us out there will pick that up on a person. Are they indecisive? Can they make decisions for themselves? Can I even trust them with this responsibility? This person wavers because when a person wavers, they're, they're in a position of distrust because they cannot follow through. They cannot carry that trust out. They'll get influenced. They'll get manipulated. Each and every one of us out there can get tricked, we can get manipulated, but at the end of the day, we should be able to stand on our own two feet and make decisions for ourselves. We should be able to think for ourselves, not get lazy, not get complacent allow, and allow others to do the thinking for ourselves. Because when that happens, you become a lot more sadder because of the fact that they weren't your choice, because of the fact that you didn't explore possibilities, opportunities, your talents. And what's so sad is where other people have put their limits on you. Where other people have told you what to do, but you was unable to make a decision for yourself. And you listen to them, and then you fail miserably. You didn't take or make your own decision, your own choice. Because at the end of the day, the decision is... The thing that makes you who you are. Decisions are so rich. They can either work for you or against you. But at the end of the day, whether it be good or bad, that choice was yours. That means something. That's the thing I'm trying to bring to your attention, people. That choice could make a man out of you or a mouse out of you. But that was your choice. You're, you're not going to really taste the rewards of success until you make your own decisions, until you fall flat on your feet, pick yourself up and carry on, despite the fact that you're getting ridiculed by your newest loved one or people around you. You're just moving on. That's how you can move away from negative people is to make your own decisions, to make your own choices. Those are leadership qualities. In saying this, I'm not telling you to be rebellious in a negative way. I'm not telling you to disrespect and disregard others for what they say. But what I'm trying to tell you is this. Decide. Weigh things up. Then come to your own conclusion. Do not allow others to dictate 
and take over your life. Take over the majority of your decisions. You don't always have to run to people to, to make the smallest to the biggest decisions. Sometimes in life that you need to think for yourself, especially when it comes down to big decisions. And sometimes in life you need others to help you to make big decisions. But what I am saying is learn to stand on your own two feet in terms of making a decision. By saying this as well, I'm not trying to disregard consultation one bit whatsoever because I'm a firm believer in that. But what I'm trying to say is that you need to display you can think for yourself. You, you need to display this otherwise you'll get manipulated by the media. You believe, in, you believe anything that you hear or see. So be mindful of that. You'll be easily, easily corrupted. Be mindful of that. So people, think for yourself until then. Take care, stay strong, stay focused. And always live to learn to power and inspire the lives of many as well as yourself. Bye for now.